Aizawa's Extra Lessons, written by Flissoon, and read by Eleanor Elizabeth. Summary. Aizawa and Mike hold extra lessons after school, but only for a few students each. Inspired by Twisted Twessa on TikTok. Shota sighed as he looked out over the classroom, speaking up to get their attention. Class, I know you're all excited for the weekend, but don't forget about the essay that I assigned. It's due on Monday. Now, before the bell rings, I need Bakugo, Todoroki and Shunzo to stay behind today. Everyone else may leave once the bell rings. He looked out over the students, watching as the majority of them left as soon as the bell rang. Once the classroom has cleared out, Shunzo raised his hand. Why are we here, Aizawa sensei You're here for some specific extra lessons. But wait before any more questions. We have two more students joining us. Bakugo jumped up, hands popping as he began yelling. Ha! Huh? I don't need any extra damn lessons! Aizawa glared, quirk activated. Bakugo, take a seat and wait until I explain what the lessons are. He continued to glare until the explosive boy reluctantly sat down. The three students waited a little bit longer until Monoma walked in. Vlad Sensei said that you wanted to see me, sir? Take a seat, Monoma. We're waiting for one more. And here he is. Hello, Amajiki. Are you ready for this week's lesson? Amajiki walked in and sat down, nodding. Yes, Aizawa Sensei. Aizawa nodded. All right, Amajiki, you can relax for a little while. I'm going to explain to these four. Amajiki nodded, glancing at the other students before turning to a book he pulled out of his backpack. Now, the five of you are all here for some extra lessons. Normally, you would end up being brought in one at a time as things developed, but you problem children managed to all start this week. So you're being introduced to the extra lessons I've been running for years now. He turned to the whiteboard, quickly writing before moving away so they can all see what he wrote. How to deal with your literal ball of sunshine boyfriend. And what the hell makes you so qualified to teach this? The group went silent as present Mike opened the door grinning. Hey show, I was just about to start on my extra lessons and I realised I left my papers in your bag this morning. Shota nodded and grabbed the bag, quickly grabbing the papers that Mike needed and walking them over. Here's Ashi, I'll see you after the extra lessons. Mike grinned and kissed Shota's cheek before walking out of the room and heading off to his own classroom. Shota turned to look at his students, watching as Todoroki stands up. Teach. Us. Everything. All right then, let's get started. As time went on, the lessons quickly turned into a support group for the boys, all of them turning to each other or Aizawa for advice on the latest thing their boyfriend had begun doing. Zuku has started bringing in lunches for me. He seems to know whenever I forget my lunch and always has an extra lunch set aside for me. Aizawa nods. Some sunshine boyfriends cook when they're stressed. It's likely that he brought in the results of stress cooking. Or he noticed you tend to forget lunch on certain days and started packing extra on those days. I guess it's the stress cooking, though. It's likely he's worried about finals coming up, so he should probably check in each evening, make sure he gets some sleep. And she's gone quiet lately. I'm getting a little worried about him. Shinzo looked over at Bakugo, frowning a bit. Kirishima has been worried about you, Bakugo. He came and talked to Denki about it when we were hanging out last week. He's worried you're losing your hearing from your quirk and you won't do anything about it. Oh. Shit, I didn't want him to worry about it, so I didn't say anything. I've got hearing aids coming in next week. Aizawa nods a bit. Yeah, keeping information from your boyfriends to avoid worrying them won't end well. They want to be involved. They want to know what's going on. And if you keep something important, like hearing loss from them, you will likely face either just the silent treatment, or in more severe cases, you'll face their wrath. They may be literal balls of sunshine, but they are the scary ones in the relationship, no matter how much you want to deny it. I think Tetsu might be annoyed with me. What makes you think that, Monoma? He's just been quiet. He keeps drawing away from any physical interaction with me. Well, you may be on the right track. Have you done anything to annoy him recently? No, I've been giving him little gifts and bringing him snacks and stuff. I've been trying my best to take care of him. Hmm... Well, he may be drawing back due to his own insecurities. He may be feeling like he isn't bringing enough to the relationship while you're spoiling him. I'm not saying back off from the gifts completely, but maybe talk to him and make sure he knows that you're just trying to show your love. I do the same thing with Zashi, and every now and then he just gets out of it, and that's when I know I need to talk to him and communicate. Denki seems like he's upset. I'm not sure why. He's been kind of clingy whenever we're around my friends from 1C. I see. How public are you with your relationship? Do your friends from 1C know that you're dating? Oh, I, uh... 
and he never told them. Right. He's probably a little jealous, so we need some reassurance from you. And you should probably tell your friends about your relationship status. I'm a Jiki. We've been going over this for the past two years. Togata is encouraging because he knows you can do great things. You're at top of your class, and you've been doing some great stuff in your work study. He just wants you to believe in yourself. All right, you're all dismissed. Go get some rest and think about what we discussed this week. Aizawa sighed as they all left, sitting down at his desk to check a few things before Mike walked in. Hey, Shosho, how was your extra lessons go this week? Tell me again why I agreed to do this. Because we've seen these boys struggling in their relationships, and we know that we can help them because their relationships are similar to ours, and because we needed them separated so we can help them easier. Fine. Now come on, Sho, time to head home and get some sleep. Shota nodded, standing and following Mike out the classroom and leaving to go home.